Okay, so time for an update on the SGR Looper circuit. And this circuit's essentially the same circuit that I have in the Tesla Torch flashlights. I've done a lot of experimenting with this circuit in the past, and I always felt that I could eke a little more performance out of it. And today I had a bit of a breakthrough with it. Um, I've been able to get some really prolonged run times using uh, little tiny electrolytic capacitors. This here is a 60... 8 microfarad electrolyte capacitor. The one that I've got built onto the board here is a 470 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. And you know, I changed the winding ratio in the coil. I added this germanium diode here to try to capture some return current, but apart from that, uh, those are the only upgrades. And I had it mounted on this breadboard here, and it was running really, really well. I was able to do some, you know, run times with the battery or power supply removed, even on Mylar film caps, and it would just keep blinking along and going along. So I was very excited. I took it off there, brought it all down onto this board. And the performance level when I brought it down to this board was that these three LEDs were lit, you know, very visibly, drawing 30 microamps, which, you know, that was just an excellent breakthrough as far as I was concerned. Unfortunately, now that I brought this down onto the uh, small board here and, you know, cleaned everything up, shortened all the leads, got rid of all these clip leads and all of that, the circuit doesn't perform the same. You know, initially I actually thought it was broke. I took the 9 volt battery, you know, power it, nothing. And at that point, you know, I decided to start fishing around it and see if I could uh, bring it to life. And I decided to connect a ground uh, connection. Let me show you the results of connecting a ground connection to the circuit. Okay, so right in the backyard, I've got the Solon 18 up here. I've got my USB LED light bulbs lighting this area up. And uh, I've tried this in different places in the yard. This effect is not unique to this particular spot. I can go all over the yard and do this. So I just want to show you what I'm going to do here at the circuit. Now, this is a you know electrolytic 470 microfarad uh, capacitor there. And I'm just going to charge that capacitor up with this 9 volt. This is a really old 9 volt. It's probably dead, but it doesn't take much to charge a, a little capacitor like that. And now I just want to show you what happens when I touch the negative lead from that capacitor to the ground. So you see that? The minute I touch it to the ground, the circuit comes on, lights up. So as soon as I saw that, I thought that was so cool. And if I make the contact with the ground just right and hold still, we should be able to get a pretty long run out of it. So we'll just let it run here. Not bad for a 470 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. So, again, I'm exploring all of this. I'm sharing this with you guys in real time. I know there's going to be a lot of requests for the schematic. It's essentially the same as this GR Looper that's in the Tesla Torch. A few, few little tweaks with that germanium diode, but anyway, I will continue to research this. I'll continue to share the results. And uh, I'll try to get this updated circuit built into the new Tesla torches and see if I can't make some improvement. It's not just the germanium diode. It's also the uh, coil winding on the pot core. You know, I am using a different winding ratio. And with that new ratio, it seems to really make a difference. So but you, can, you can tell here, if you've done experimenting with this kind of stuff before, this is a really long run time for a 470 microfarad uh, electrolytic like this I'm trying to eke you know see how much I can get out of the uh, the system when it comes to runtime but 
There we go. Okay, so it's getting really late. I've got to go home, but uh, I just want to document a few more things about this strange uh, circuit. So in this case, I took both ends of the clip leads and connected them to the negative on the capacitor. And what I noticed is that when I bring these wires into proximity with the ground like this, uh, the circuit turns on. I thought that was so strange. You know, there's obviously some sort of an effect going on between the ground and my body up over here where I'm touching the LEDs on the left side, it must be acting like an aerial of some sort. But you know, I've tried this in different places in the yard. I don't have any exciters turned on or anywhere, you know, and I'm getting this really interesting behavior. So I will continue to explore this, uh, you know, I'm not going to stop experimenting on this particular circuit. I would really like to get this to operate like this without a ground connection. You know, I need to come up with some component arrangement that will allow this behavior so that it can be encapsulated down into a Tesla torch flashlight. But anyway, um, you see the effect. Okay, so I'm gonna put all this away for the night, but I just wanna show you one other crazy effect. So check this out. I connect the battery to the electrolyte capacitor, charge this up just like you'd expect until I remove the battery and then notice that when I connect it to the negative lead on that electrolyte capacitor, the circuit keeps running. So only one side of the battery connected, circuit running. Now if I take my finger and touch it to the circuit here, I'm not getting anything, but when I touch it to the battery, I am. So there's contact to the battery, contact to my skin. I did try a 10 mega ohm resistor between these two points this circuit is just really a bit of a mystery to me. I'm going to have to play a lot with this one before I figure out how to make this useful for the Tesla torches, but I will pursue this, uh, you know, all the way to the end. I will figure this, this little thing out and I'll have a lot of fun along the way. So anyway, very fascinating. Connecting this point here functions just like connecting it to the ground. So. This circuit just keeps surprising me. All right, folks. I want to let this run because it's fairly bright. It should run down pretty quick on a 470 microfarad electrolytic. So. But anyway, it's getting really late. I got to get home to the wife and kids. It'll be another day for more experimenting. All right, so I'll keep experimenting. I'll keep sharing my results, sharing what I find. Good night, and we will talk later.